How you doing? Me and Rube is out and about today. So we are at Pitch a Penny and we have some water that we collected from our pool. We're gonna, um, well, sample. And we're gonna get it tested to see what chemicals we need to add. We have a salt water pool. We usually have uh, pool guys that come every week, but we've been noticing that our pool is still not cleaned after they come. So we're gonna try to uh, do the pool ourselves. I ordered um, a pool vacuum off Amazon and it should be coming tomorrow. So now we're gonna just see how many or what type of chemicals we need to add to our pool. This is Pinsa Penny. This is the pool cleaner he was telling me about. 619 and it has a rebate of $100, so it'd be 519. And here you can get a free water test. And that's what he's doing. He's taking the water. About two weeks. Okay, but is it's there any green or yellow? Not, not yet, it. but it's on his way. Okay. So she's putting it in there. Good morning. Good morning. How are you doing today? <laughs> Have you ever tested the water here before? Um, no. Mm -hmm. We did it was maybe three years. Under the, the, the table there, there's going to be like a blue tower. And there's going to be bottles on top of the right Oh, okay. Those. Those are what you'll use to reach. Um, Excuse table. me. And fill that up with water. And then you bring it into the heater and we test it for free. Okay, thank you. And how often do you recommend? Until you really get the hang of it every week. Okay. Just because you never know what you're gonna get here in Florida. Uh, so I'd hold off on this guy then, I guess. But you could, if you add these chemicals, it's going to be less money on the first visit when we start the service. Okay, okay. that that's kind of because you have to add all the chemicals first, and then you get charged for that, and then you maintain from there. Um, I'd get the two jugs for certain. I'd get the stabilizer for certain because it's a little cheaper buying it for yourself than those. Um, call me back at the store here. And my name is Nicole. And you're gonna give me your phone number. I'll type in this and I'll let you know if you need salt. Um, because we gotta get the salt up so that it starts producing chlorine for you because I don't think the salt level is going to be correct yeah. for what your system needs. Okay. No matter what system, it normally is like 27 and up. You're at 25. Okay. Um, so we, we probably do need to get some salt in there. I just don't know how much until I know what your system is. Um, so I would get the stabilizer. I would clean the filter, get your stabilizer. Um, stabilizer. I'm not getting her face. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not getting your face. Oh, I don't care. Um, seven pounds of stabilizer. Whenever you do the stabilizer, that filter has to be cleaned. And then you put this through the skimmer on the side of the pool, slow mm -hmm. handfuls at a time, like literally handful chicken feet right. through that skimmer. Okay. okay. And it's going to get sent to the filter and you're not wanting to clean that filter for a few days, like three to seven days or so. Okay. It can take time for that to dissolve. Um, the two jugs you just pour right into the pool. Okay. And then that's it. For the Can't go nowhere without getting a truck wash. Babe, don't play. You like dad up in here, dad I have to come to the car wash every, yeah. at least once a week. A day. I mean, no, he yeah, used to go every day. day. He go every day. Known. He said this is Lake Megory and it's full of alligators. Known for having alligators. Yeah. 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 Known for having alligators. Yeah.
alligators. Like we can ride over there if you want so we can see it. Big in St. Pete that's known for how that gators just hanging out. So I mean we might can go out here and see a couple. One or two. Possibly I don't want to, but at least I do not enter. They got federal wildlife laws out here. You're only supposed to drive five miles an hour. Well, with See the what boats. they say right there? No hunting or trapping of alligators allowed. That's, they are known to be out here, like known. This is where everybody comes to sit and gamble and play dominoes for money and drink, talk crap. Check out what they got in here. Mercy, she'll live in green. Yeah, but it probably ain't doing nothing. Yes, please. Inside. side of penne pasta, some fried mushrooms, and he got black and chicken. Black and chicken. chicken pasta. pasta. That's all it is. Hmm? Hubby had to use the bathroom. Yeah, and that's figure out where to go. That's where he had to go. For you to pee. For you to pee. He probably thought he probably thought we was cheap. He didn't know he was gonna get no nice tip. Are you recording? Hey, you gotta let me know you're recording. I can take man. it out. You know I'm gonna say something crazy. I can time. take it out. Ain't no big deal. We was in and out. In no, and but out. He, he did. He did think we was cheap. He didn't think he was gonna get a good tip. My my gratuity was only nine bucks. It came up to, and I ended up giving him thirteen dollar tip. Thirteen dollar tip more than what he should have got. So, so. That, that goes to show you how you doing, man. You never judge a book by its cover. Well, we was in and out in about 20, 30 minutes. Headed back to Big Red now. Get you on my mirror, start to blush once 
somebody says your name In my stomach there's a pain You walk in my direction, I go the other up way I start to stutter when I speak You understand what I need is going What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on my pillow St. Pete Beach. Yeah, St. Pete Beach, but we're going to take the back roads where some nice houses and stuff. People that stay back here off the beach. Some good neighborhood over here. We have the windows down. AC on. Gotta have the AC it's on. It's so low because you'll be hearing it in the background loud, so I have to turn it down. But it's, it's not really hot right now because the sun is not out and it's getting ready to rain. It's cloudy. Cloudy. I know it's a plastic, but it's still nice. Oh, it's free up there. Back of the water, the house. <clears throat> back of the house is water. Okay, we're gonna pick a house and look up how much <coughs> it's worth by the value perfect. of it. Let's find a house. Let's find this one right here. This is no good traffic. I, don't I know. I'm saying I'm trying to stop and get a house so they can see the house and then we're gonna look up the price. Right, you, right. How are you doing? We're going to look up this house. 6825. This house is 6825. And we'll get the street. 6825 Bay Street. And I'll be back with how much that costs. Oh. So according to Zillow, that house is estimate of one million four hundred and fifty four thousand one hundred dollars by comparison our house that we stay in now is i think it's we, like at 450 it's now. probably at like four hundred and fifty thousand but we bought it at like three hundred and some thousand but just to compare and our house is probably the same size as that yeah it's about the same size we got ours about 308. It's supposed to be like 318. So 300,000. Just don't compare. That's all. Yeah, see, it says St. Pete Beach, Florida. It's a whole different city now. They made it a uh, city. Gulf Way. Gulf Way. How much do you think the estimate for that? Probably about four million. Five million one hundred twenty-eight thousand six hundred dollars. Jeez. They just sold it twelve sixteen twenty-one for four million two hundred. So they gained a million dollars. Uh, what they call it? Equity. Equity for that home from twenty-one to now. A million dollars. Two years. Well, not even two years yet. Almost two years. Uh, here's St. Pete Beach. Look at that sand. It's fluffy and white. There's hardly anybody out. Sixth Avenue and Pasadena. See the Pasadena way. Thank you. 
bait. We got a little cute little beach house. Got that bait, they ready to go fish. Hey, Mint, I'm on a waffle cone. A single scoop. A, a single scoop, and um, nah, that's it. All right, thank you. So here go the cone. Nice, it's a big old cone. Six dollars. That's like a big. Yeah. He just wants the cone part. I want to take the ice cream too. You don't know. So we finally got all the chemicals for the pool. The vacuum was delayed, so it will not be here until tonight so we're going to go ahead and put the chemicals in now let me show you what the pool looks like it hasn't been clean in what how long has it been now babe three weeks now so look at how bad this pool looks we've had storms and everything on top of it not being clean it's not green yet so we're gonna go ahead and treat it he's uh putting three bags of salt and these bags are 40 pound bags. So the other day we did go to Pinch a Penny and get the water tested so we know how much of chemicals to put in. And we're gonna start cleaning the pool ourselves every Saturday. We did have someone cleaning it, but we felt like they weren't doing a good job. So we're gonna try to maintain it ourselves. If we can't, then we will go back to having someone else clean it for us. And I think our pool is 22,000 gallons. The next is chlorine, and we have to put the chlorine now, even though we have a salt pool, because it hasn't been treated in a while. So we're gonna put two uh, gallons in. And the chlorine kills germs and it's a sanitizer. It also aids in preventing algae. And this is how he's doing it, the sloppy way. I said, that's how he does it, the sloppy way. And it does change your clothing color, so be careful while splashing it, even though he doesn't care. But, yeah. And chlorine, you can just use regular bleach. It's just a strong household bleach. That's what I read about it. The next is stabilizer and the stabilizer, it acts as a buffer for pool by protecting the chlorine from sun rays. And when you put the stabilizer in there, it says um, you don't clean your filter for 72 hours after adding the stabilizer. Now the stabilizer is where you put in the skimmer. And over here, yeah, our skimmer. And the skimmer collects um, it's supposed to collect what floaties and yeah. stuff in your pool. Yep. So he's adding two bags of those, which is supposed to be seven pounds. This is what we was paying somebody how much a month to do? Mm, one forty. Which is not bad. It's just that they weren't doing it right. Or it wasn't getting clean. So we're going to see if we can do a little better than them. All right. All right. That's the stabilizer. And then, oh, muriatic we got acid. the last is muriatic acid. And How muriatic we acid, need? we only need three cups. So, and the muriatic acid is a corrosive acid. It helps control the pH level. So it reduces your pH level. The RPH level should be 7.4 to 7.6, so it was only a little high. It's only it's at an 8, so we're using that acid to lower the pH level. When the pH levels is too high, that's what causes uh, burning in your eyes. 
so you want to reduce the pH level and it also helps to avoid different allergies and different you know harmful things from growing when you have the right pH level so he's experimenting with this plastic cup and the acid I said it may burn it we never know but it looks like it's holding up You didn't put none over here. <laughs> so right now he's reattaching, well he's attaching the brush. It was this little skimmer on there so that he can brush the walls of the pool. And push the salt around, he said. And when we get the vacuum, We'll be back to show you how well the vacuum cleaned the pool. All that at the bottom should be gone within a few days, maybe you think? Mm -hmm. How deep is it down there? About eight feet? Yeah, so we're gonna repaint the floors and the walls and everything after I get working. And we have, first thing, we have to get our garage door fixed. Um, it quit working on us, so that'll be the first thing. And I think that's about $2,000 to get done. As far as the pool and the floors and walls, we're gonna paint ourselves. So um, I'll have to check into that and see. So I have a lot of projects coming up and uh when it gets a little cooler then i'll start going to the land i might have to buy a riding more so again that's more <laughs> to uh clear out that land and some other different landscaping tools for there to get the land clear first and then start planting things around there and making it you know able to camp right down it's really really hot so i can't do that it probably won't be about november when i can start going over there so here's the pool after he we added all the chemicals and he skimmed the pool and scrubbed the walls. It looks so much better. Only thing is we have this little patch right here and that's just uh, dirt that formed at the bottom that the chemicals will eventually get. But the pool looks really, really good. My baby done a great job. Woo. So now we're just waiting on the vacuum. Man, I am the pool man. <laughs> you see my work, man. He's proud. I am proud. He's so happy the vacuum just came, the pool vacuum. So he just opened it up and he's going to set it up and put it out there. It probably won't be all the way charged no, since we just charge. got it. Yeah, see if it works. <laughs> Babe got the, the cleaner. He's about to place it in the water. And there's how all the dirt migrated to that side of the pool. And we have little spots here and there. So we'll see how good it cleans. I think you could have just put reached over and put it in, babe. Hmm? I think you could have just reached it, It'll go down. I guess he gonna make sure it go down. Yeah. And then that thing went out off. There we go. He's gone. There's the Y rot. He's climbing up the wall. Going back down. Nah, I think it's gonna do it. Working. 
windows, it's hard to get it. Well, if it's going away, it picks it up. Mm. See, it switches up. Once it hit the wall, it turns, it goes the other way. I hope our dirty little pool don't kill our little bot. <laughs> pool looks so much better. So much better. Just want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to watch us. Yes, we did a little bit of this and a little bit of that nothing really in particular um just because i've been stationary but i will be back on the road soon and until next time i will talk to you guys later bye bye